Hi, I'm Riddhi Joshi and uh, I'm going to talk about the ECG changes uh, in the ST segment. So first of all, when there is a myocardial infarction, if there is a myocardial infarction, there will be lack of the blood supply and because of that, uh, there will be lack of the oxygen supply and this cause damage to the heart muscles. So patient will feel some chest pain discomfort and like Levi's sign, shortness of breath, cold sweat, etc. patient will feel uh, during the myocardial infarction. So there are three stages in the myocardial infarction. First of all, the first stage is myocardial ischemia. So what happened in the myocardial ischemia? And what are the changes during myocardial ischemia in the ECG? Let's see for that. When there is a ischemia, it is denoted here with the white color if, if we can see here this is the ischemic area when there is a lack of blood supply decreased oxygen uh, will be there and due to some embolism or coronary artery vasospasm is there or increased myocardial oxygen demand there will be lack of the blood supply and because of that ischemia will occur so ST segment is always denotes the ventricular repolarization. Because of the lack of oxygen supply, there will be decreased ST segment. So ST segment depression will be there. Because when there is a lack of blood supply, there will be delayed repolarization. So whenever we have delayed repolarization, we can see this is P, Q, R, S, so this is ST segment depression because of delayed of repolarization. Let's see about the myocardial injury. Whenever there is myocardial injury, there will be different kind of a problem with the patient. There is a decreased blood supply is always there. But here in this diagram, we can see the myocardial injured place so it is denoted with the purple color when there is an injury to the myocardium but still they have collateral blood supply so because of the collateral blood supply the ST segment changes will be upsloping and when there is an injured area here we can see this injured area it will, it will be electrically positive because it is electrically positive that's why we have the ST segment changes and ST segment changes will be elevation so when there is electrical positive there will be positive change and only ST segment elevation so remember when there is infarction ST segment depression because they have lack of blood supply and delayed repolarization whenever we are having injury there will be electrical positive and ST segment elevation will be there the elevation will be above the baseline 1 mm in the limb lid elevation 2 mm above the baseline in the chest lid we can see in this ECG change let's see about the myocardial infarction we have seen myocardial ischemia injury and now time for the myocardial infarction when we are having myocardial infarction there will be irre irreversible damage because we don't have any oxygen supply so the area will become necrosis and black color we can see in this diagram the ECG changes will be deep Q wave and this Q wave is the first downward deflection after the P wave so this is P wave and this is a Q wave this is the first downward deflection after the P wave and the first elevation of the QRS complex we can see in this diagram this is QRS complex so first deflection is seen as a Q wave when patient is having having myocardial infarction so they always have pathological Q wave it denotes that patient is having previous myocardial infarction the deep Q wave occur due to the absence of electrical activity the infected area is electrically dead so we can see the deep Q wave okay when there is an infected tissue it is replaced by the fibrous scar and the 
fibrous scar will be there so patient is having ST elevation and the T wave inversion we can see here so ST segment depression morphologies we are going to see this is a normal ECG this is upsloping ST segment depression we can see here this is upslope we can see that this is horizontal ST segment depression and this is downslope horizontal depression when there is a transmural or subendocardial injury when there is a subendocardial injury injured cells are close to the heart wall result in the systolic injury so when there is a systolic injury ST segment is depressed upslope it is due to the ischemia when there is a lack of blood supply ST segment elevation will be there but in the later stages when there is a downslope ST segment changes it may occur due to the hypertrophy of the ventricle ventricle if there is a, if patient is taking digoxin it also denoted the downslope horizontal dip, uh, downslope depression of the ST segment if it is greater than 2 mm then it is prognostic finding of myocardial ischemia let's see or about injury. the ST elevation myocardial infarction so what will be the changes in the ECG while ST elevated myocardial infarction remember ST elevation will occur when there is a complete occlusion of major coronary artery or the patient is having history of atherosclerosis there will be always full thickness damage to the heart muscle so when there is a ischemia as we have seen in our earlier slide there will be lack of blood supply, ST depression, peak T wave due to the hyper repolarization and T wave inversion in later stages due to uh, ischemia and the lack of blood supply. When there is infarction the outer area will be electrical positive. So when there is a infarcted area electrically positive we have ST segment elevation and the appearance of the Q wave so why there is appearance of Q wave we have already seen uh, in our previous slide it is occur due to the infarction when there is an infarction there will be always pathological Q wave when there is a fibrosis fibrosis is there so there will it is replaced by the scar tissue and it is always remain electrically dead so we have pathological Q wave ST segment and T wave returns to normal. Let's see about the non ST elevation myocardial infarction. So, when we have non ST elevation myocardial infarction, we have developed some kind of a complete occlusion of minor coronary arteries or major partial occlusion of a major coronary arteries patient is also having a previous history of atherosclerosis there will be always partial thickness damage to the heart muscle that's why we have non ST elevated myocardial infarction as we all know that during ischemia lack of blood supply ST depression T wave inversion infarction ST depression T wave inversion when there is a fibrosis it's written to the baseline T wave inversion persists because we don't have oxygen for that and due to the partial damage we have the depression don't confuse with the elevation and the infarction we only have a partial damage that's why it's going for the ST depression because in the infarcted area they don't have any blood supply lack of oxygen that's why it's going for the depression let's see about the physiotherapeutic implication as we are physiotherapist so what are the changes we need to know about this as the elevation as the depression and what we can do for this patient we are physiotherapist we are going to give them some cardiac rehabilitation so this is our duty to give some idea about their exercise when to stop, why to stop, everything we need to know and everything we need to say them. When there is a ST elevation myocardial infarction, if it is greater than 1 mm and absent of Q wave, 
suggested that patient is having coronary artery disease if it is elevation greater than 2 mm so we need to stop the exercise because when there is st elevation there will be infarcted area so infarction is more dangerous for the patient so immediately we need to stop the exercise we need to call the physician as well as the 911 if the patient is having major symptoms so the 911 can Uh, came and they can take the patient to the hospital so t wave inversion suggesting ischemia this is again a dangerous thing for the patient so if there is a t wave inversion we need to stop the exercise refer them to the physician if there is a depressed sd segment so what are pt implication for it when there is sd segment depression if it is greater than 2 mm for male if it is greater than 1.5 mm for female then we need to know about the implication of for that patient if there is a inverted so as we all know that it's ischemia and uh, we cannot go for the exercise if the patient is having horizontal down slope greater than 2 mm it is always an abnormal response we need to stop the exercise and refer to the physician or call the physician when there is st segment depression greater than 3 mm we need to stop exercise immediately no need to monitor the vitals and call the physician and call 911 and let them go to the hospital because if there greater than 3 mm depression there will be surely major infarcted area will be there let's see some more changes in marked infarcted patient when the patient is having significant tachycardia with low intensity exercise and the patient is deconditioned without any ischemia if there is st segment depression we need to no stop the exercise significant tachycardia is there that means patient is having lack of blood uh, decrease blood supply or decrease oxygen supply and that's why patient is having some difficulty so we need to stop the exercise check the vitals and refer them to their physician if the patient is having exertional arrhythmia there will be increased frequency of ventricular arrhythmia during exercise and the recovery so we need to check during exercise and during recovery time see for the exertional arrhythmia see for the sign and symptoms of exertional arrhythmia patient will complain chest pain shortness of breath they need to stop the ex they will ask you to stop the exercise if there is st segment depression greater than 1 mm in uh, myocardial infarction depression greater than 2 em mm indicates a severe disease so these all are the myocardial infarction changes let's see some important things to remember as a physiotherapist if patient complains that he feels chest pain during exercise they appears anxious so as a physical therapist what is our duty we need to stop the exercise tell the patient to sit down and monitor the vitals because they are complaining us for the chest pain so first we need to know about the ecg changes with that if the patient is having ischemia or if the patient is having infarction so because of this we need to know about the symptoms and we need to stop the exercise first and monitor the vitals for that because this symptoms indicate exercise induced chest pain and marked oxygen demand is exceeded the supply so stop exercise and terminate the test we need to Uh, check for the 2 to 3 minutes and uh, recovery will be occur if the patient is uh, ask you to go for, go in that they are asking that they want to go in their room so don't send them because if you are sending them if anything happens to them it is our liability so we need to monitor first the vitals monitor the ecg if it is okay then we can send back them to their room if we are seeing some changes like uh, greater than 2 mm st segment horizontal up slope or down slope depression immediately stop exercise refer them to the physician because this is the infarction 
if it is st segment elevation or st segment uh, depression st segment depression denotes myocardial ischemia so ischemia can be dangerous for that patient we need to again stop exercise refer them to the physician this is our duty as a physiotherapist i would like to thank my friend saranya she helped me a lot to editing these videos and making these videos she is a computer engineer and a very motivated person she helped me a lot to prepare this video i would also like to thanks mia foneska from the dep because she helped me a lot to think clinically when i was reading uh, this ecg topics i always think uh, um, in the academic guys if you have any doubts related to any topics in npte or pce please let me know in my comment section so i can make videos on that